a bird came down the walk. Context questions continue. Question number four. I offered him a crumb and he unrolled his feathers and rolled him soft of home. Name a sound device used in these lines. Now, question number A is not necessary because you know it. It is the same question. Question number C. What is the literal meaning of the underlying phrase? How uh, do you... There is some error here. How do you describe the action of this he and I? The action of this he and I. How do you describe the action of this he and I? Question number four. Uh, name a sound device used in these lines. Did you find any sound device? Please send me answers if you have found any sound device. Uh, one answer came. Gehara. I want the example. I want the example. Geet. Ah, uh, you see, see, answer is not correct. D. Geet, I means the speaker, use it that way. The speaker here. But the he means the bird. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Then those words. Once you know the Persons, please use their names or pronouns. What is the sound device used here? Crumb, harm. What is the last sound? Mm, mm sound. From home. Then what is that device? From home. I offered him a crumb and he unrolled his feathers and rolled him off to home. What is that sound device? Oh my goodness. Nobody knows it. Hmm? From home.
from home. The last sound is m. Mm. Giara, correct? Yes, it's n rhyming. N rhyming. There is letter B, don't care this letter B. Here is letter E, don't care this letter E. Without these letters. Because these letters have no function. No sound, they are dumb letters, silent letters. The last sound you hear is M, mm, letter M. Therefore, it is N rhyming. N rhyming. That is the sound device used here. From home. Right? And still you can find some assonance. Rodim softer home. Assonance is also here. Assonance means vowel rhyming. Here O. Underline no. Here O. Underline O. You have to mention the examples. Here O. Underline O. That answer is also correct. Assonance. Vowel rhyming. You have to train your ears to hear these sounds. Mm. Now, there is another sound device left. Alliteration. Look for if there is any example for alliteration. Now, the three major sound devices you must know. Rhyming, alliteration, Assonance. Once a sound device is requested, you have to think of those three. Think of those three. If there is assonance, if there is rhyming, if there is alliteration. You have to know their technical aspects. Hmm. What is that? I offered him a crumb and sound. What is that technique? Now hear him and crumb. That is also rhyming. We call it internal rhyming. Crumb and home in rhyming. Him and crumb internal rhyming. That is not alliteration. Alliteration means repetition of first letter in the same sound, consonant letter in the same sound. Right? Consonant letter in the same sound. Ah. Apparently, there are no iterations in this in these lines. How do you describe the action of this he and I? Now he means the bird, I means the poet. Identify them and then write as the bird as the poet. Don't use I and he. You are not given marks. Okay. Write down. The poet, out of his friendly friendly sense, offers some food, offers some food to the bird. Ah, what is the idea of this uh, unrolled his feathers? Flew away. Flew away. 
FLEW, flew away. Flew away. Right. The poet offers <clears throat> some food out of, yes. But the bird rejects it. But the bird rejects it and flies away. Flies away. Flies away. It seems that it seems that the bird considers the man the bird considers the man an enemy because It has already been expecting a danger, danger from nature, danger from nature. Another D question may be asked, write it down. What aspect of man and nature, what aspect of man and nature do these lines imply that the question may also be asked uh, from this context write it down what aspect of man and nature do these lines imply what is this aspect man and nature the distance between man and nature uh, Man is no more a nature's animal. He is an enemy of nature because other animals do not take him as a friend, friendly animal, a fellow mate. A man is not a fellow mate of other animals. That's why the bird flies away. Yes, write down. It is depicted, it is depicted how man is rejected and not considered as a fellow mate by nature, by nature. By nature. The bird rejects the bird rejects man's food and his friendliness. Because
the bird and all other animals consider the man as they are They are soul, S O U L, soul enemy. Sorry, uh, S O L E, soul enemy. Right. Now, uh, that is the end of these uh, uh, contest questions. Please read them, understand them. At the examination, you are given only uh, five marks for this uh, uh, one of these questions. You can earn 30 marks. 30 marks. At least you must earn 25 marks out of those 30. If you want an A pass, hmm? Yes, okay. Please read the context, understand them, read it again and again. Again and again until you get at the meaning, until you create your own opinions. You understand? When you read the poems, critical notes, these contest questions and everything, something work in your mind and you begin to think uh, from your own opinion. Mm. You are uh, power of thinking, evaluating, argument, develop, rational thinking. Right. Therefore, read them and understand. In our next session, we'll discuss a new poem, uh, Breakfast. New poem, Breakfast. <laughs> 